My name is Will Chen, and 1 Peter 5, 6 says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. God has been extremely faithful to me over the years. He brought people into my life who were Christians when I was still steeped in Buddhism. It was through their life and example in the midst of intense trials that really left a deep impact onto me. It was because of this that I eventually went to church with them. And when our family um, moved away to another state, I started going to church on my own. But it wasn't until my junior year of high school when I understood the gospel, saw myself as a helpless sinner before God, and finally believed in Jesus Christ. From then, my life became, began to change slowly, and God continued to bring Christians into my life to disciple and to teach me truths about Christ, about God, and Scripture. And it was my freshman roommate who introduced me to the doctrines of grace uh, and Reformed theology and John MacArthur and um, everyone else. So it was from this grand view and glorious understanding of a sovereign God and mighty Lord and uh, mighty Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that I was compelled to preach and to share the gospel on campus. It was from here that I had a longing to do missions. So I began to attend Grace Community Church around this time and got plugged into uh, Crossroads Bible Study. I began to serve in small groups and occasionally teaching classes, and I desired and aspired to ministry during this time. And was encouraged to go ahead and apply to TMS. Um, and during my time at TMS, God provided through uh, working security, front desk, and uh, other jobs, as well as my own family. But I entered seminary thinking I was someone I was not. I was unaware of how spiritually immature I was. Um, being extremely proud and arrogant, I generally thought I was a pretty mature Christian, uh, with only a few areas in need of growth. However, during my time in seminary, I, I've repeatedly failed. I failed in coursework, I failed in relationships, I failed in ministry endeavors, and yet instead of taking a step back and examining myself, I kept pushing forward in ignorance. There were sins in my life that were undealt with, and because of that, it caused me to ruin relationships both within and without the church. I've learned firsthand the deceptive and destructive nature of my sin. Um, my pride, lust, anger, jealousy were increasingly apparent and eventually spun me out of control. And instead of pursuing God on any relationships within the church, I decided to be more aloof and independent to my own peril. So during my time here, I was learning great truths about God, about Scripture, and about Christ. But I, I was also grieving the Holy Spirit with my sin, thus damaging the effects these truths would have on my life. Um, I kept running ahead and thinking to myself, it will get better with minimal effort. I'll eventually deal with these sins in my life on my own. And my time in seminary has revealed how little I practiced the truths that I learned. But God was merciful to, to bring me back to himself through my own sins and failures, I've seen more clearly my desperate need for Christ daily. To be reminded of his death on my behalf for all of my sins, to see my desperate need to abide in him and to cling to him daily. My future plans is I still desire um, to be in the ministry, but my immediate concern is to finish this semester strong and to continue to serve at Grace and to find a job and work with my hands. Um, God was so kind to humble me God was so faithful to pull the brakes and reveal to me who I really was, how I still am a sinner desperately in need of Christ daily. Thank you.